Hello everybody! This is going to be a quick little video describing your last lab for Physics 4A. This is a two-week lab. Basically starting today, you have two weeks to design and present an at-home physics lab of your own design. For this lab, you're going to design an experiment to basically investigate some principle that we have studied in Physics 4A. So, just to remind you of some of the things that we've looked at, I don't know why this doesn't want to go, but we've looked at one-dimensional motion, we've looked at vectors, we've looked at projectile motion, Newton's laws, energy, momentum, rotations. So what you're going to do is hopefully have fun, be creative, think outside the box, and make some lab using equipment that you have at home. You could use rubber bands, balls, incline planes. If you have little ballpoint pens, there's springs in them. What John and I have done is come up with a list of just a few possibilities. We both highly encourage you to design your own experiment. Like I said, have fun, be creative, but we have just a few ideas to get you started. A couple things to think about. For many of these lab ideas or many labs that you may design yourself, you're not going to be able to measure force in newtons. You're not going to be able to measure mass in kilograms or grams. So you're going to have to get creative. For example, to measure the mass of something, all you need is a bunch of objects that have the same mass. So instead of measuring mass in grams, you could measure mass in pennies or something like that. Or if you had a rubber band and one, you want to look at whether or not that obeys Hooke's law, but you could use the stretch of a rubber band to possibly measure the force. So just a few ideas I'll tell you about. Again, these are just some ideas. Highly encourage you to be creative. One thing, let me just mention now, if you use any of these nine ideas that we have here, you do not need to get prior approval, but if you're gonna design your own experiment, again, highly encouraged, then you will need to email me before next week and just give me a little overview of what exactly you plan on doing so I can give you any pointers or let you know if that's not going to be appropriate. So I won't go through all of these, but just a couple ones. One nah, kind of interesting thing to investigate is, does a rubber band obey Hooke's law? So ideas, you know, you could, again, you're going to have to use units that are not newtons and meters and things like that. But you could investigate, does a simple rubber band obey Hooke's law? If I double the mass hanging off the end, would that double the stretch? Or you could use spoons or bricks or something that just has the same mass. Now there's one that could be fairly straightforward is looking at when a ball bounces, right? Every time it hits a surface, it loses some energy. Does it lose the same amount of energy on every bounce? Does it lose the same fraction of energy? Uh, you could look at whether or not the force of static friction, whether the maximum value really depends upon the normal force. Uh, I'll let you think about how to do that. But a couple other ones, like one that could be fairly straightforward. If you could create an inclined plane at home, you could use conservation of energy to figure out how fast the ball that's rolling down the inclined plane is moving right at the bottom. And then if you have a horizontal surface, as that ball rolls off and hits the ground, by measuring how far away it lands, you can figure out how fast it must have been going. So just a few ideas to get you started. Let me just give you a bit of information about how you're going to present your results. So one, Lab 10 is due the very last week of classes, Wednesday, May 13th. And this is pretty much going to be just like a formal report, so it's going to be worth 20 points. And you have three different possibilities for how you can turn in your results. One, you can, if you want, write a formal lab report using the guidelines that we have for formal lab reports. So start with an introduction, procedure, data data analysis and conclusion, or you could film a five to 10 minute video presentation where you describe and show your experimental setup, talk about your results and whether or not they agree with your theoretical predictions, 
So this would be just you filming yourself at home, describing the experiment, and then uploading the video. Or the preferred one, which I think would be fun if everybody could do, is on Wednesday, May 13th. I'll have a bunch of times when I will be on Zoom, hopefully along with John. And you can do a five or 10 minute video presentation on Zoom, just describing your results. A couple things about this. Whoa, what happened? You may work with one other student in the class if you would like. At most, you're either working by yourself with one, or with one other student. If you do with work with another student, both students must participate equally in the design and execution of the lab, and each person must submit their own work. If you're gonna do a formal lab report, each person must submit their own lab report. If you're gonna do a video or Zoom presentation, you can do it together as long as you're both doing it together, meaning you're both in the video or you're both present for the Zoom presentation. If not, then you can each individually present a video or you could do Zoom presentations at different times. If you are gonna do a video or Zoom presentation, then I would basically want the same kind of data that you would do in a formal lab report. So one, introduce what concepts you're investigating. If you're gonna do conservation of energy, just a little presentation of what exactly you're looking at. Maybe the kinetic energy at the bottom equals the potential energy at the top. Brief little presentation and then talk about the procedure. How exactly did you do the experiment? Present your data, show how you analyzed the data and what your results were. And then finally, the conclusion, does your data support your theoretical prediction? What were some of the sources of error? So next Wednesday, I will uh, send out an email before then. John and I will be available on Zoom to answer questions, to offer any feedback. Again, if you're gonna do one of the nine sort of project ideas that John came up with, that is totally fine. You don't need to get any kind of prior approval, but if you wanna design your own experiment, which highly recommended, then please email me before next Wednesday, just with the description of what you plan on doing, what you're investigating and how you're gonna go about it. <laughs> Now, I imagine you're gonna run into a couple snags when you try and do this, so I recommend not waiting until the very last minute. Start thinking about some ideas now, start working on it, have fun, be creative, and learn physics. All right, that is it. Happy Wednesday.